Welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to talk about this tool. This is a Powercraft number 843743 hand drill that my dad bought from Montgomery Ward back in the early 80s. So it's a very nice little tool. It has a top here, unscrew, and you can ask, access the drill bits that came with it. Comes with four bits, a little instruction manual. And uh, open that up and I'll show a, a closer picture of this because it is very, very small. It comes with 564th, 764th, 964th, and 1164th. And so it comes with four drill bits, those sizes, but there's actually room for eight. So you can additionally get bits for a a 1 16th, a 3 32nd, a 1 8th, and a 5 32nd are also available. Powercraft is sold only at Montgomery Ward. Um, and on the back, talks about how to load up the drill with the bits. So, I'm going to get out a bit here, and we're going to give it a try. Put it in by pressing the knurled end forward putting the bit in and then turning it until it engages. That's what it says. There we go, it engaged, clicked in, it's locked in place. Now, <clears throat> this one does not have any specific, you know, levers, buttons, or anything like that. So it's only gonna drill. It's not going to undrill. You really can only use it for drill bits. You don't, you can't use it with like screwdriver bits. So let's put it in and it's, it works pretty fast. Wow. Well, drilled about that much distance. You may remember another drill that I featured on this channel in a video. This is a Yankee Handyman that came with a lot more bits in its top. So I had a lot of bits in there, including screwdriver tips and a Phillips. So slotted and Phillips, and then a countersink as well. It was a very nice uh, collection of bits in this one, but that it didn't seem to work as well as I would like to have. Now I bought this at an antique store in Virginia. Uh, so with the bit in place here, It seems to me that that one takes a little longer to drill a hole. Yeah, that didn't go very far than say this one does. And there could be a very obvious reason for that. That went pretty far. The very obvious reason could be this is older and was probably used a lot. So the bits are probably worn down. This was had one owner who maybe didn't use it as often as one could have. I remember dad using this on a few projects and I used it on a few projects, but probably when we needed to drill something, we just got an electric drill and went to town. Battery operated drills did exist back uh, when I was growing up, but the batteries were not like the batteries are today. And so there were some rechargeables out there. They were more expensive and so it was better to just have an electric drill, plug it in, do what you had to do. But for these smaller bits, it was easier to use a hand drill because uh, when you had a bigger drill, if you didn't use it all the time, you could probably break the bits uh, depending on what you were drilling. So anyway, this is the Powercraft number 843743 from, Mac from Montgomery Ward that belonged to my dad. Thanks for watching.